Hi crafters! Today what I want to show you is how to use your pen feature with your Cricut. So all you're going to need today is your Cricut machine, obviously. Um, I'm going to use some cardstock. Um, you can have your scraping tool handy just to get the cardstock down to your mat. You're going to need a pen. I'm using this Cricut um, 0.4 tip black pen but you can use whatever you want I'm just going to show you how to basically use the pen feature and then you're going to need a mat I'm using this light grip blue mat because that's what I like to use for my cardstock and that's pretty much all you need it's going to be pretty simple so let's get started so we're going to start out by um, making a text box and I'm going to filter my all right so to get started we are going to make a text box and what we want to do is we want to go over here to our filter and we want to put on our writing filter so this is only going to show us fonts that we are able to write with and the reason I want to do this is because if you choose a font that is not meant to be written with, um, it's going to just look like bubble letters and you'll just get the outline of the font and it'll look really weird. So this way you'll, um, your Cricut will know that it's a writing font and it'll write it just norm normally, like it should, how it should look, you know, like it's looking in the display box here. So I really like this awesome font, so I'm going to write with this. So I'm going to make a note for my cousin Ia. She ordered some wine glasses for me that she's shipping to a friend, so I'm going to make her um, friend a note. And so I'm going to write, Dear Sarah, I'll move this up here so you can see it, Dear Sarah, Stay out of the forest. Love, Ia. That's my cousin's name is Ia. And um, I know this sounds like a really weird message, but if you've ever listened to the podcast My Favorite Murder, this will make sense to you um, because this is a quote that they always say during the podcast. Uh, it's a true crime podcast. If you've never listened to it, it's hilarious and I highly recommend it. So um, we have our text here and what I want to do is I want to align it so it's all centered. All right, so we have our text and I'm going to print this out or I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to write this out on a piece of like five by five cardstock. So I want to shrink the text so it'll fit on a five by five piece of cardstock. So to do that, you just unlock your text box here and see that little green arrow will, will uh, light up. And I'm just going to stretch this. That looks pretty good. All right, and we can see over here that our text is um, going to be written. So it already has the writing feature selected here, which is good. And we are going to write this with a with our um, .3 tip pen. But you can use whatever pen you want. I just this is the one I have handy. I think it's either .3 or .4, but it doesn't really matter. All right, so I forgot to mention, the last thing I want to do is I actually want this to be cut out of a circle. Um, so I want the shape to be a circle, and then I want this to be written on it. So I'm going to need to tell my, my machine to cut out a circle. So to do that, we can go down here to Shapes, and get a circle, and you can do a square, you can do a heart, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to change this shape to, or I'm going to change the color to this cream color just so I can see. And what I want to do is I want to send this to the back. So now I'm going to stretch this um, circle out so that all of the text is on it. So I'm just going to move it 
a little bit. So now what we need to do, move that over a tiny bit. So now uh, what we want to do is we want to attach the text to the circle so that your machine knows that you want this text to be written out on the circle. So to do that, we are going to select our text box and we're also going to select the circle. So I'm just holding the shift key and now I'm clicking the circle. So now everything is selected and you'll see that the attach button lit up over here. So I'm going to click attach. So now the text, this is similar to weld, so now the text is attached to the circle so your machine will know you want it to cut out a circle. So now we'll go over here to make it. So you can see that our text is going to get written out on this uh, circle here. Hit continue. It's going to find our machine. All right, so now I'm going to switch you guys to the camera so you can see. But you can see here I already set the material to cardstock. The tools we're going to load are our pen. And we're going to want to make sure our blade is in there. So I will switch you over to the camera. All right, so now that our machine is ready to go, I'm going to take my pen. So I'm just using this Cricut um, .4 black pen, pretty standard. So I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to come over here to my A clamp and I'm going to open it just like that. And I'm going to stick the pen in and you want to make sure you hear that clicking noise. So I'll do it again just so you can hear it. So you want to make sure it gets in there good. So then we're going to close our clamp. I'm going to bring this up so you could just see a little bit better. All right, so now our pen is ready to go. Our uh, settings are, are changed. So now I'm gonna take my mat. I already put my cardstock on it, so I'm using the light, light grip mat for this. I'm just gonna make sure this is scraped on here relatively well. It's really time for me to get some new mats, that's for sure. Let's scoot this back a little bit, that's better. So now we can load our mat and we're going to load it and now, oops, sorry guys, my friend um, tells me I need to make a bloopers one. I'm like, no, I just leave my bloopers in. It's entertaining. So now we're going to cut, cut and write. So we have our blade and we have our pen. So usually it does the writing first and then it'll cut afterwards. All right, so now we'll unload our mat. And now I'll just take this excess off. And the trick to getting your card sock off your mat um, or something that just I think works better is don't try and like pick it off your mat, just bend your mat and it'll come off a lot easier. So now I have this cute little note that I'm gonna send in this package of Murderino True Crime wine glasses and I hope she likes it. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment and make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and happy crafting.